Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Fab and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you're an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. So welcome back to another fashion video. Today we're going to be talking about fall essentials. I have about nine things on my list. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my iPad. This is where, you know, all of my brain dumping, all, all of my brain is right here on this pad. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes, girl. So if you are interested in hearing my fall essentials, just keep watching. All right, so the first item, so these are in no particular order. It's just how I wrote them down on the iPad, girl. But the first thing I wanna talk about is the white button up, button down, I don't know. I call it a button up, sometimes I say a button down. But let's just talk about a white shirt, okay? A white shirt with buttons, particularly, in my opinion, a men's white shirt. Listen, this is a staple. This is an essential. If you are a chic and timeless, stylish type of lady, okay, you need a white button up. A white button up is going to make anything that you put on, it's going to make it look chic. If you are not new here, I am the queen of a white button up. I love it. I, you can throw a white button up on with leggings, which I did, I think a couple of weekends ago, and I looked so good, okay? You definitely need a white button up. Now, my suggestion is to um, purchase men's white button ups. They are just better quality in my opinion. I get, if not all or most of the white button ups in my closet are from the thrift store you can find the best quality for the best price, for the low actually, okay, for the low <laughs> at the thrift store. Um, and then I also, I'm gonna also do an honorable mention, um, just, you don't have to just stick with the color white. Any type of men's oversized button up is going to look chic on a woman, okay? Just my opinion. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna insert some footage <laughs> of me wearing a white button up and then some other footage from probably Pinterest. But yes, a white button up is definitely an essential um, when you don't have anything to wear, throwing on a white button up or any color button up with a pair of jeans, a nice pair of relaxed um, pants, it's going to look fantastic, okay? So the next item on my fall essentials list is denim. You need a good pair of denim. For me right now, it's gonna be my barrel leg jeans. I love these jeans, they are by Free People. I've actually been looking at other um, brands because I wanna get another pair because if you know, <laughs> you know, I wear these down to the ground, okay? I wear them all the time. I think last week I wore them like three times, but again, um, I, I love them. They are quality. I love Free People's denim anyway, but this, um, these barrel leg jeans, and I got them fairly, um, I've had them for probably maybe over a year because I got them when barrel, barrel leg jeans first came out. You, you didn't, I didn't see them very much, um, very often. I just happened to be on the Free People website because I love Free People. I think their clothes are great. And I was like, ooh, these are cute. And then I purchased them and they were like, they, they became a huge trend, all the rage. So anyway, a good pair of denim. They don't have to be barrel leg jeans. They don't have to be anything trendy, but I would say a good pair of denim that <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to, to break the bank. I have found um, good denim at H&M as well as um, Target. And I will link some of my favorites because I have some really nice, Target jeans that I absolutely love. But again, and I, I also think you should get them in at least a light wash and a dark wash. Um, they're just going to be um, an essential. And you know, you can throw them on with a sweater, with a white button down, with a blazer, and you're gonna look so put together, okay? So the next fall essential is going to be a blazer, okay? Again, if you are not new here, <laughs> I am also the blazer queen, okay? Most of my blazers come from the thrift store. Again, me, the men's section, listen, if you, even if you don't thrift, 
Go in the men's section of any store that you are in. In my opinion, these days, the men's quality is just so much better than women's quality. Um, but again, I get most of my blazers from thrift store and I always get them from the men's department. Now, this is a blazer that I scored um, from H&M. I got it um, this summer when I went to San Francisco, it was on the clearance rack and she is so good. She is so good. But again, you're going to need a blazer. A blazer is going to be an essential. It is going to be that item that ties the outfit together. It's gonna to make you look chic. It's gonna make you look stylish. And then if you also live in a warmer climate like myself, this is going to be, for the most part, this is going to be what's going to keep me warm. It's going to be my outer layer. It's a great layering piece. Um, definitely you should add blazers to your wardrobe um, because they just they just pull everything together. They like they make it's like the cherry on top. If you just have on a pair of jeans and a bodysuit, you throw that blazer on, you're going to look 10 times more put together. Okay. All right, guys. So the next item on my fall essentials list is going to be elevated basics. Now, I kind of grouped um, these things together. So what I have on my list is going to be a good cardigan, a good sweater, a turtleneck, and a bodysuit. Okay. Um, I know a lot of you don't wear turtlenecks, but listen, a black turtleneck, it, it, it's, it's, it's so top tier. It's going to make you look so elevated and so chic, okay? Um, again, I know a lot of you ladies say that you don't like turtlenecks because I absolutely personally <clears throat> love turtlenecks. And I've had a couple of you say in my comments that, that you really don't wear turtlenecks. And I get it. They are, sometimes they can be very um, uncomfortable and restricting around the neck especially if it's too tight but again a turtleneck you can actually do a mock neck you don't have to actually do the one that you have to actually you know like flip over a mock neck is in my opinion it's going to do it's not going to give like a turtleneck but it's it, it's going to it's going to do what it needs to do okay so if you don't like turtlenecks then try a mock neck Cardigans and sweaters, again, I live in a climate where layering is going to be my best friend. So a good cardigan and a good sweater, okay? You need, definitely need that in your fall and winter wardrobe and a bodysuit. Again, I am the bodysuit queen child. <laughs> I love a good bodysuit, again, because I'm always about, I love to layer my looks. And this bodysuit that I have on, I talked about it, um, I raved about it actually on Instagram and I think I talked about it on my YouTube channel, but it is by Target and it's by A New Day and it's only $15 and it is so good. It has good compression. It sucks you in. It actually holds the girls up without a bra. Absolutely love it. So definitely you need those elevated basics, the cardigans. And I actually like the cardigans that are long like the maxi cardigans. I picked up one from Hanifa um, in the color red and I cannot wait to wear it. But I also have um, cardigans um, in like um, neutral tones. I have one, actually um, my best friend found this cardigan and it actually came from Forever 21 and it is such good quality. I absolutely love it. So maxi cardigans are my favorite, but any type of cardigan um, and a sweater, um, sweaters are going to also elevate a look. Um, definitely need it in your wardrobe. I'm actually feeling the look where the, the sweater is being thrown over the shoulders. And then we're also wearing the, um, the, the sweaters slash cardigans, the button ups. We're also wearing those as just tops. And I think that is an, uh, uh, an amazing look as well. So definitely some elevated basics needs to be in your fall essentials okay your fall essential wardrobe the next item on my fall essentials list is going to be trench coats and statement coats now i am on the hunt for a really good trench coat i have a couple that i thrifted but i think i'm going to go ahead and give those away they're old they're kind of dated i want something a little bit more updated um target actually has a really nice um trench coat but i'm thinking because I absolutely love trench coats. And again, I live in a climate where a trench coat can take me 
um, through half of the year, <laughs> through through um, fall, and then I could pop it out again in the spring. Um, but I'm thinking that I might want to spend a little bit more of a coin on a trench coat. I don't know yet. You guys let me know down in the comments who has some really nice um, elevated trench coats. I don't think I want to invest in the Burberry, not yet, but you know, I'm going to spend a cute little coin, but I do have a statement coat. I purchased it last year for, from um, Nordstrom Rack. It's a burgundy coat by Steve Madden and she was on sale. Y'all, I love this coat. Again, I did not know burgundy was going to be the color of the season, but when I tell you, I cannot wait to pop out in this. She's good, y'all. She is so good, okay? She is so good. <laughs> so yes, um, you need a trench coat and a statement coat, in my opinion. Not one or the other, you need both, girl, okay? <laughs> so the next item on my fall's essential list is going to be boots. For me, they're gonna be over the knee boots. I think over the knee boots complement my um, height and my body um, shape. I am five foot four, curvy. Y'all don't need to know the weight, baby. You just know that she's curvaceous, okay? It's a whole lot of playground over here. And a heel and an over the knee boot, it just, it just elevates everything in my opinion. However, um, riding boots was on the trends report. And then I also know we're doing everything nowadays with the little kitten heel. And I've seen so many boots with kitten heels. Absolutely love, okay? Absolutely love. So definitely, oh, bless me girl. Now, what was I saying? We were talking about boots. <laughs> Um, I will list some of my favorite boots. Right now, Vince Camuto has some really nice boots and they also um, have, have them at really nice prices. Um, I think if you buy two or more, you get 20 or 30% off. I will link some of my favorites down below. And they also have almost every style on their website. They have um, wide calf friendly. So check out Vince Camuto, okay? And then also Macy's, the INC brand, which is another one of my favorite brands. They also have wide calf boots as well. But again, I will link some of my favorites down in the description box, okay? Next on my fall's essential list is going to be sneakers and or flats. I think you need both. I don't particularly have very many flats. I have some flats by Tori Birch back when I was doing my corporate nursing days um, and I was dressing up. I was really into um, Tory Birch flats. I think they're very comfortable. I think they're very chic and stylish. I love, I really love anything by Tory Birch. I love her um, contemporary line. But for me, it's going to be the sneakers and you guys know it's going to be the Sambas. Absolutely love a Samba. They look so good. They go with almost anything. I'm actually looking into getting more colors for the fall. And I also have a platform um, pair of Sambas that I absolutely love. I do have a pair of Golden Goose. I have not been wearing them very much these days because the Sambas have your girl in a chokehold, okay? You need you need you a samba girl, okay? You need you a samba. The next item on my fall's essential list is going to be accessories. I am an accessories jewelry type of girl. You guys know I have been loving pearls and I've been loving stacking my gold necklaces. I'm actually looking for a stack for my wrist. Um, <clears throat> I listen accessories and not just jewelry, but we're going to talk about hats. We're going to talk about scarves. I mean, we're, we're talking about hats. We're talking about scarves. We're talking about cute little dainty purses. Just, just all of the things guys. Um, a lot of the times, for instance, if I didn't have these earrings on and this brooch, it, the, the outfit would just be so plain Jane, but adding accessories is just going to make everything look pulled together. It's going to make everything pop. A lot of you always ask about my necklace stacks. A lot of my necklaces come from like Nordstrom Rack. They come from um, Forever 21. I don't, I don't spend a whole lot of money on the necklaces because you really don't need expensive necklaces to really make it look good. Not too long ago, I wore a really cute necklace stack to my mom's house and my mom, she's a gold girl through and through, but my mom, my mom only gonna wear 
the real, okay? She, she, my mama got that money, okay? That's what I told her. I'm like, oh, you're rich, girl, okay? So she asked me, she goes, Sheena, how much, how much, she was like, you have on, no, she asked me where, where my necklace is real. I was like, they gold plated, child. Well, what are you talking about? She was like, because it looks like you have on thousands of dollars of gold necklaces. So I was like, okay, no, they're not real, mama. They're not real. <laughs> and and the, I just saw my mom a couple of weeks ago, and she actually had a little stack. Now, again, my mama's necklaces was real, okay? <laughs> Mine came from Forever 21 and Nordstrom Rack, child. But what I'm getting at is necklace stacks, especially in the color gold, in my opinion, they make a statement, okay? They make a statement. Let the let the accessories do all of the talking, girl, okay? All of the talking. Um, I talked about in my trans video how you can take scarves and wrap them, like little dainty scarves, and wrap them around your wrist, wrap them around your neck. You can definitely wear them on your head. Um, I used to be so into hats. I have not, and I still have all of my hats. I have not gotten rid of them. Just haven't been in the hat mood lately, but listen, a nice hat girl she's gonna do all of the talking okay i think the next time i do purchase a hat um i'm going to go more with an elevated maybe a gg pip or um is it can't think of his name is it rubunsky i'll put the name on the screen something rubunsky everybody was wearing those um is it the page board the paper boy hats that's not particularly my style um, but he, that brand does make some nice, um, like fedora hats. Cause I've, I've checked it out, girl. I was actually wanting to buy a straw hat for the summer by that brand. So, but anyway, get you some accessories, girl. Okay. And the, and the final item on my false essential list is going to be a tote or a tote bag or a hobo bag. Now me, you know I'm gonna do both because I always do the most. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, Coach has the girls in a chokehold. I was holding out for the longest on getting a Coach bag because this is my thing. I am more of a classic type of girl. I am saving up for my dream bag. But Coach keeps speaking to me. And once upon a time, I was that girl who had to have all of the latest bags. I'm not her anymore. I love wearing dupes, if that's what you want to call them. I love going into TJ Maxx and finding me a good dupe. I love going on Amazon and finding me a good dupe. But there's something about a particular Coach bag that is speaking to i cannot get it out of my mind and if i cannot stop thinking about it i'm gonna give myself a few more days because i've actually gone down the TikToker um rabbit hole behind this bag you guys will see me in this bag and when i'm in in, a, in an upcoming vlog i was i was i'm still saving for my dream bag but <laughs> i was i i was on, um, I was on um, Fashion File and The Real Real lately because I was going to pull the trigger on a particular bag, but I'm thinking I might get the coach bag. I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm getting off track, but what I'm saying is a tote bag. I'm a tote bag girl, okay? I have I have a tote bag that I take to work. Um, has all my things in it. When I travel, I take the same tote bag um, and a hobo bag. You guys know um, I... Listen, those are the two bags. To me, especially if you are into content creation and you have to carry so you know all your things around, those are the bags that you need, okay, in my opinion. And I think now since they're they're doing um I, you know, coach, they're making it look so chic and so stylish. Girl, you need that, okay? You need you, you know, you can do a tote or a hobo, but me, I, I need both. I need, I need options, okay? I need options, girl, all right? So that is my fall essentials list. Let's go over it one more time. So I have a white button up, okay? You need it, girl. A good pair of denim, blazers, elevated basics, a trench coat and or a statement coat, okay? A good pair of boots. Sneakers and or flats. I think you need both. <laughs> Some good accessories and a tote bag and or a hobo bag, okay? <laughs>
<laughs> all right guys i hope you enjoy my fall essentials list let me know down in the comments which items you you have on your list for your fall essentials and whether or not you have all of them because girl i got all of them okay because again they are essentials okay you need them in your wardrobe <laughs> all right guys make sure you share this video with a good sis and if you've made it this far and you like my content i hope you will consider subscribing all right i will see you girls in the next one y'all leave me some comments on the next fashion video i'm trying to put together some looks especially with my thrifted blazers um so you guys should be seeing that coming up but yeah Love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.